you know, he says, um, you know, this is crazy because some of Trump's most top uh, advisors have reportedly discussed invoking the 25th Amendment, which lets 14 people remove a sitting president from office. Now, y'all, y'all should have been done this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diet you're on, welcome to the mental house with your host, your minister of soul, Khadija. Uh, this is um, ridiculous. Um, the 25th Amendment formally outlines the transition of power if the president is unable or unfit to serve. Section 4 allows the president um, and a majority of the cabinet to remove the president from the office. And the Americans have been particularly interested in this amendment and ever since Donald Trump took office. So, y'all already blew it because once he dismantled this constitution, it's going to be too late. And that's the danger. Um, that's the danger of not removing and being sucked in by a personality disordered individual. They've sucked all the life out of the country, um, just as a narcissist sucks all of the air out of a room. Uh, you know, it's really sick that there's an article that the New York Times signing anonymous officials were briefed on meetings reportedly that the Deputy Attorney General Rod Reinstein discussed invoking it in conversations with other Justice Department officials after Trump fired James Comey as FBI Director way back in 2017. Trump himself reportedly didn't know what the 25th Amendment did when former advisor Steve Bannon told him early in his return that it posed the biggest threat to his presidency. <laughs> Trump, according to Vanity Fair, said, what's that? Uh... This is crazy. So, you know, and, and by the way, after President John Kennedy was assassinated, Congress uh, proposed um, and the states ratified the 25th Amendment in 1967 to formally outline the transition of power. Before that, the vice president didn't officially have the power to take over. So, that had to be set in motion. Anyway, I think, and what do y'all think? Because I think that it's a little late to even be talking to something like that, talking about removing him from power. Um, do you agree that they should have been doing this back here in 2017 and not just talking about it, being about it? You know, how can you say, it's almost like the emperor with the new clothes. You sitting up here with somebody and you know they're clearly psychotic. Or you sitting up here listening to this person. You know they're lying. And just think you don't have the guts but a testicular fortitude to say, hey, look, this is crazy what you're doing. This is when you get so drunk with power, so drunk with wickedness, in your wickedness, that you'll do anything. It's got to come to an end. And it got to come to an end soon. This is crazy. Because if the president um, dies, resigns, or is removed from office, then the vice president becomes president. And is there anybody worse right now than, um, that ain't shows you they colors yet, but he's looked like he's a total flip flop ball? Is Pence? 
I think the whole sack of, excuse my French, the whole sack of shit, administration, all of them need to be gone by whatever means necessary. However they get them out of there, they all need to go. All of their faces are disturbing from the press secretary, from William Barr, all of them are so destructive and deceitful. They're the worst of the worst of white people. The worst of y'all. Oh, they're disgusting. And some of y'all that like them and think they're doing their job, then I know you a disgusting human being as well. Okay? And I know it's a lot of y'all um leave comments and you get disturbed if I uh, say white people. How, um, but you should know what side of the fence you fit on, and you should know who I'm talking to. I love a lot of uh, in, in individual, uh, or I I can feel and have loved a lot of individual white people. You know, collectively, there's some lot of issues going on, and that's what I you know said, and that's what I meant. But I don't think y'all should get mad or try to come at me when I identify as a white person or white people because that's just the way we've been conditioned in this society, basically. So I ain't come from heaven. I'm from hell like the rest of them. Okay? So with that being said, if you like what you hear, um, I want to know your opinion. I really do. Because... This is the most chaotic I've ever seen, the more hateful, the most hateful I've seen people act towards one another. But what y'all think about the 25th Amendment? Do y'all think that he should have been, this should have been, been invoked on him and what has stopped him? Or is this a game, the New World Order game? I gotta, I gotta hear it from you guys. Y'all keep me grounded. Y'all keep me going. Let me hear it. Let me hear what you think. Because some of the stuff that I hear, I mean, I mean it, just, it just needs to be checked. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.